Okay, today we have our, was it a 46 Chevy here? We're gonna be, the goal is to clean her off and use linseed oil on the body. It's been sitting for many, many, many years. Interior's a little wore down, but not too bad. Just do a walk around here. And moss growing on the side, but it should all come off with the power washer before we get her all shined up. Okay, just got a cheap little $100 power washer. It's all you need to clean this, these kind of trucks off. You don't want to take off all the paint. So. All comes off easily. I think this truck last ran maybe in the 1980s, so about 40 years worth of moss growing on her. Looks pretty good this way. I'll have to show you a picture later on when I bought it on the trailer there. It had an old wood box on her. It just comes off like butter with a power washer. You don't want to be too aggressive with this or it'll go down to bare metal. Especially with the door sign, you gotta be really, really careful so you don't take off any of this paint. give the rims a nice coat of black paint so it looks a little nicer. Yeah, lots of mold on here. You'll do whatever you want to call it. Yeah, if you had to do this by hand with a bucket of soapy water and a sponge, it would take forever to get all this stuff off. It's on there really good.
get the engine compartment cleaned out here. The motor is free in this, but I thought I'd clean off the body and get everything done first before I pull it in the shop and start working on her. It's nice to have everything nice and clean. Luckily, no one stole the radiator over the years. Carburetor all clean. Sure, that'll have to be rebuilt. Or get some new gaskets in her. Okay, here I'm gonna clean the interior. I got most of the most of the crap out of there, so we'll see how this goes. Basically, this truck is pretty rust free, but again, it hasn't been used since the 80s. I don't think it was exposed to much uh, salt over the years. I'll probably just put a seat cover on her and call her good. Yeah, it's not rusty at all. A lot of times that's all rusted out under here. Good as new. Okay, just got done power washing her. Everything came off pretty good. Front grill's looking good. Might have to try bending that back. It's bent a little, but see what we can do later on. No, looking pretty good. Inside cleared pretty good, clean pretty good. Okay, just got done power washing her. Everything came off pretty good. Grill's looking good. This is dented a little. I might try to fix that a little, pull that part of the grill out. Interior all looks good. There's the original blue paint. But even after clear, cleaning it, you're going to have uh, still have some dirt and grime on it. So I just got a bu bucket of uh, soapy water and a sponge. Let's get most of the grime off, or the linseed oil will not stick if you if you have it on. If you have dirt on there too much. So I'll keep doing that, and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, just started scrubbing here on the back, and it's amazing how this blue paint comes right back as you're all that oxidization comes right off. Let's get a little spot here. Yeah, you can see with the hey, you can see how nice that's gonna look when we get the linseed oil on her. Okay, oxidation. 
coming off pretty good, but you got to scrub quite a bit to get that blue color back. But you can see that's really cleaning up good, all these letters. Just scrub enough. It should come out pretty good. See how it turns out at the end. Okay, time to put the lens seat on. Uh, the brand I got is Sunnyside. Um, came from Menards, roughly $25. Might take a few coats, this stuff really soaks into this old metal. That goes on really fast. Just like that, the door's done. Okay, here I am so far. I got the roof at the back here, the door. Took about 20, 25 minutes or so, but you can sure see the difference. There's one half and the other half. And hopefully the sun ain't reflecting. Looking pretty good so far. Well, here's the truck after putting the linseed oil on her. In my opinion, it turned out pretty good. Let's do a walk around here. Especially that blue paint on the back, that's the original color she was. The lettering on the side, I could barely make that out when I first got this truck. So put some black paint on the rims, just make her look a little prettier. It will need new tires, of course, and I will be selling this truck, so if you're interested, you can just message me, or if you have any questions or comments, just feel free to message me. Take a look at the interior quick. There's a seat. I took most of the foam off there. It just needs to be reupholstered. But other than that, everything's everything's pretty solid in here. Also, I had a couple other trucks I'll be working on, making videos on. I think one's a '54 Chevy and a '50 Ford. So, if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.